Cigarette smoking is prevalent worldwide and it is estimated that approximately one third of the adult population smokes tobacco. We know that smoking from tobacco contains numerous harmful chemicals including carbon monoxide, nicotine, and nitrogen oxide. And exposure to tobacco smoke plays an important role in preventable death worldwide related to the development of the brain, respiratory, cardiovascular diseases, and cancers. So we know cigarette smoke is harmful, but does it ruin your immune system too? Intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends. It's be right back science So before we get started share this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I find useful tidbits for you That you can use in your daily life smoking plays a major role in your body Specifically with T cells T cells are like soldiers whose job it is to seek out and destroy the targeted invader there are different departments of T cells such as th2 th17 which deal with inflammation and CD8 plus T cells which specialize in killing off damaged or infected cells. Your body has a whole array of various specialized cellular mercenaries. So when you smoke, you inhale into your body a concoction of various different chemicals and these chemicals react with your T cells. When the chemicals enter your body, they can influence how your cells work. Your T cells might automatically see a specific chemical as an invader and immediately try to remove it from your system. Other times, a different chemical may act as an ambassador from an enemy territory. Being able to get close to the cell and whisper into its ear to try to influence its behavior. And the manipulation of your cells can play a part in how your immune system works. We can see this when we study the effects of smoke on our T cells. When T cells are destroying the invader, they release pro-inflammatory mediators, meaning they aid in the swelling of your body. So, if you have inflammation and autoimmune diseases such as colitis, Crohn's disease, COPD, which is lung disease that affects your airflow, and arthritis, studies have shown that there is an increase in your T cells that warrant the increased inflammation, prompting the disease itself. With each puff, these cigarette chemicals are invading and influencing an important part of your body that is in charge of your body's inflammation. You're exposing your T cells to things that force it to activate and produce its effect. And this is why smoking makes breathing difficult, especially for people with asthma. T cells are increased when exposed to cigarette smoke, resulting in the inflammation of your lungs, and this is a major cause of chronic airflow obstruction. CD8 plus T, another brand of T cells, are known as cytotoxic T lymphocytes, which play an important role in your immune defense by killing off infected and damaged cells. These are like specialized assassins. There are numerous studies in both humans and animals that indicate that cigarette smoke doesn't just increase the total number of specialized assassins in your body, but also enhances their activation and function. So, depending on how healthy your immune system is and whether or not you have deficiencies in other proteins and cells, this increase of assassins can be of service to you if there is a specific niche where your body can use it, or it can be harmful to you. Think of the proverb, too much of one good thing can be bad. Now, your cells also have a special ability to clean up its environment. This is called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when a cell uses its plasma to engulf a large particle and is especially effective when used as a mechanism to remove pathogens and cell debris. Now, a study on macrophages, which are large white blood cells that you have, showed that when you smoke, it stops these large cells from cleaning up. And this allows the buildup of dirt and bacteria to survive and continue growing. So let's put this all together. When you inhale cigarette smoke, you have smaller passageways because they're all swollen, too many specialized assassins, and you're getting all dirty because the cleaning mechanism isn't working. So your immune system equals weaker, less effective, and it doesn't have the clarity anymore to get rid of bacteria, viruses, and diseases. Overall, unless for a very, very specific health situation you may have, smoking does pose a negative effect on your immune system. But it doesn't mean you'll necessarily die an early death. Have you heard of Jeanne Calment? She was the oldest living human by certified records that died at the age of 122. She smoked all her life and only quit a few years before her death. Cigarette smoke acts as a double-edged sword. It either increases your immune responses or reduces the normal defensive function of your immune system. And this can possibly be owing to the complexities of what cigarette smoke is made up of and also the individual's medical conditions. 
So there you have it, intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends and care to learn more? I have even better videos coming your way. Then join us on YouTube and subscribe for your answers to everyday questions.